what's up everyone so today i have something different uh i'll be working on a bug uh fixing a bug and uh, this is something like a live stream type of video uh something you can watch uh until you fall asleep all right so i have a plugin called nvim java that's a neovim plugin and it basically set up uh neovim for writing java applications um yeah so uh there is a bug with lombok lombok is li uh, like a uh compile time uh code generator basically you can you know define uh some things like getters setters um and it will it would generate those stuff automatically you don't have to write getters set and setters for properties you have in a class but um this is not working for uh um accesses and stuff like that when when you want to pass a uh parameter then it doesn't work that's the issue but i tried with the uh hold on i tried using a older version it worked yeah, i had a comment here yeah. um looks like an issue with lombok .jar version i replaced lombok uh register with yeah yes i tried an old version and it worked but the thing is it's uh built into jdt ls package from mason now i cannot uh downgrade a version of lombok without downgrading jdt ls itself i think uh so uh when initially neovim started um doing you know language saver clients they had a command called i think lsp install or something uh, they used to ship the binaries language saver binaries however they decided not to do that so they removed lsp install command but someone picked it up i think lsp install let me see if that's available yet yeah i think this is the project and i think i convinced him to um uh, include lombok with uh jdt ls i think i'm the one who convinced him okay maybe maybe i'm not but i remember commenting on something maybe it's somewhere else uh but he was confused about you know whether to include lombok or not and uh yeah anyway uh ever since we had Lomb lombok included with um jdls it's in the same kind of directory uh, but we are downloading uh, it from somewhere else um it's it's the same for um mason as well when you download mason package say uh when you download um share i think nbeam yeah mason packages and if you go to jdls you will see lombok right here it's included in the uh jdls package so yeah um the issue is we cannot downgrade without downgrading jdls so the um first thing came to my mind is to uh, create a separate package for lombok and uh have it separately so we can control the version of lombok itself without affecting uh jdtls and down here i saw uh someone said now oh, it's working with lombok beta or something yeah, downloading the nightly lombok release does also work jdtls made apis api changes where lombok breaks in nightly version lombok got fixed already okay yeah um so i don't know if i'm going to replace the stable version with nightly but yeah let's get started now 
if I go to my organization in Vim Java organization repositories, I have a bunch of repositories here. I have a repository called Mason Registry. Now let me actually go to NV sorry um Mason NVM. So Mason NVM is a package manager in NeoVim. Uh, it usually deal with binaries you know downloading stuff from uh, from somewhere and place it inside a uh, local cache i guess and it will automatically uh, link the binaries and shared packages uh, into the neovim runtime so you can execute them so that's the basic or oh, high level task of mason nvim and initially they had all the package definitions you know where to download a package and where to place them stuff like that um, defined within the same repository however right now they have a uh, separate repository for package specifications called mason uh, registry this one right here and what i did was i basically changed the mason registry and published uh it in my uh in one of my repositories but i have um included only things uh, i want you know like jgls open jdk 17 sts4 is uh we are not using this right now however this is uh spring boot uh, toolkit oh, yeah so um I have pretty much the same definition of the original project for JTLS. I have Lombok somewhere here. Yeah, here. We have no not that wait. Um yeah, we are downloading Lombok from the official uh down up uh, official page and I'm linking it to um where is it? Yeah. Uh, to the share folder and i'm loading it from there however we don't need that um instead i'm going to create a separate uh package for that all right now let's go to the basics of uh contributing um or contributing a open source project an open source project first thing you should do is to get a fork but i think i already have one just for the sake of this video i'll just remove that nope okay i already removed that so what i can do is, do is go to my organization and name java mason registry i can get a fork by the way since i'm the admin i don't have to do that but uh i'm gonna take a fork of the project so i will create the fork within my um personal uh account you know so i get a fork and the first thing i'm going to do is go to actions enable actions so we can uh, run all the predefined workflows by the way you shouldn't allow um unknown workflows to run they could probably steal your secrets and all that stuff um yeah <clears throat> but the workflows i have pretty much the default ones in the um, original mason repository they are just doing linting and releasing and all that stuff so, all right now i have a fork let me actually get rid of the um mason registry mason registry i have already here cloned and let's clone the for repository as you can see the profile is my personal uh profile we took a fork of the uh nvim java organization mason registry repository okay now i'm gonna clone this okay clone 
and what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new package we have like five packages i'm gonna make it six we're gonna create lombok package all right let's go into mason registry and create another package for lombok and pack package.yml is it yeah i'm gonna open it side by side uh lombok package all right let's copy all this and refactor this is going to be lombok um what is this let me google lombok what am i typing it's a live that room plugs in data can i copy all this and paste it here okay good enough and the home page is this one right here yeah uh all right the license is uh how do i find that let's go to github is it hosted in github i'd say mighty license so i think here i can add a mighty i'm guessing uh but let's validate that um what i can do is let's see if you have a mighty license any somewhere okay uh how do i do telescope uh live grip mit do we have a mighty license yeah i think this is it just add a mighty here language is java categories what could this be um i think we have open jdk let's open that up it's a type of runtime yeah i guess we could say it's a type of runtime package okay now what else uh, i think we have to define we are download this particular thing and we have to include the version in it so let's go to downloads hopefully we have all the versions yes finally uh there is only uh the version of the package but when it comes to jdtls they um included the date as well and i don't know why so here they have the version of the uh of jdtls and the release date of the uh particular package and now when we are, when we want to download the package uh, we have to include the version as well as the release date which we don't know uh prior to go to their website and check in, uh, check what the version is right now um anyway i don't know who th who thought that was a good idea and why they are using that but anyway i think this is a good place to um yeah copy the link and let's see what it looks like so yeah we can include the version replace the version here and download the ja okay now generic eclipse okay what is this uh i'm assuming is this let's actually check the original mason registry i don't know if this, this is like a way of categorizing stuff is it um uh, yeah, i think so so let's go to original mason registry where you are probably downloading stuff from 
and let's open up few language savers and check them out by the way i would like to live stream but i don't have a good enough um internet connection to do that npm i npm awk what the hell yeah i think it defines the source and <clears throat> uh let's download something like yeah a whole other bunch of stuff i think so in this case it's from github then i would assume this is the author of the or the account of the github then this is the repository and and i would assume this is the release okay i'm now confused golang github.com okay now i don't know what the id should be but i'm going to use generic um i would assume that's that's to download it from you know something like the uh, wkt or something or whatever the default downloader they are using in in each one of those th these uh platforms you know mac and we have linux and windows all right so we are going to use generic and we copied the link already so copy and here paste in the file however we should replace the version so i'm just going to copy all this and we are going to get rid of the character v from here yeah then lombok eclipse.org yeah uh jdt.ls what is that i'm gonna name this lombok.jar and let's include the latest version what is it oh the version we want is hold on i don't remember where's the issue now i i can't find anything so let me remove all this <clears throat> Yeah, let's go back to the original um issue all righty now i'm gonna make this default since it's working but I don't know where to download the nightly. Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure, but I think it's, yeah, this is here. So let's use that version, and this is the where you should download it. Hold on. Yeah, we are gonna call or name this Lombok.jar, so we no longer need this one right here and i'm going to replace this and config we don't have so remove that 
to me this looks good i don't know if this works but let's see uh what is this the dead developer views code java master package to json <clears throat> do i need this let's see let's see what this is uh let's see this is the only mention of lombok i don't think we need this uh scheme schema and we don't have a bin do we so i hope we can get rid of that and um i think as a shortcut i could include it inside jdtls directory and lombok.jar and not break uh the core of nvim java hmm. yeah i think that would be good so i don't have to change any code i guess but would it replace the existing .jar file that i'm not sure so but uh, you know what i'm just going to move it to a separate package called lombok or directly called lombok and move the file all right looks good to me have i missed anything <coughs> so huh all right now i think we should publish um we should publish this right now we don't have any releases i think i can I think I can release this now. At the package, uh, page add Lombok package. Okay, now I think I can add a tag. Git tag, let's see what we have. Nothing. So, git tag um, add. Uh, initial release initial release yeah then git uh, push and we should see a new commit here and when we have something new we can contribute to the original project because we forked the original repository and you can you can you can see the link here let me refresh there's something running already i don't know if that's going to wait did it release the tag okay um so yeah we have a new release already i don't think we have to push a tag and you can see the registry.json file right here it looks like they are converting the um, yaml uh, specification we have defined into one json file so if i go into um, mason uh, local share nvim and mason probably registries and under the um, name of the user you will find a uh, registry list so we have a um registry.json file but this is outdated so i'm going to delete that and go back to my new vim config here open up the java file here i'm going to re replace the rep registry to my own registry and hopefully when we launch mason the next time it will update itself and it should create a new yeah 
new we have new registry and let's open up jdtls sorry lombok we don't have what we are looking for let me just um do name yeah we have okay now let's try to install i guess um mason install lombok okay i can see it's installing already done okay nice let's go back to mason packages we should have a directory called lombok and we should have a jar file right nice now um where should we start first of all we need to load this so what i'm going to do is for now i will go to jdtls and really uh, remove lombok from here and if i go to a java um, a file i think we should see an error i guess no okay then fine maybe i'm just guessing at least we will see a lombok issue class r test this cannot be a public and here let's define string name and let's try to get um what do you call that getters from lombok and see if this is working test get sorry we have created an instance for uh test equal new test new test test dot get we have get name but if i try to run this application will it run um you know what set let's do set name and uh, let's pass in a name syntax then get name I cannot type today because it's morning and I'm not a morning person. Method git name undefined for test. That's what I expected. Getter, actually, we only have a getter. I don't even remember how to do this. I think this is how you can define getter setters. Actually, method name get name oh yeah it's already defined and i have to do something with this so let's uh, print out the value so far we don't we don't have any um compile errors so let's try running um what can I do? Create wait. Gradle run. Sorry, it's boot run there. <clears throat> uh, why the hell is this working? We don't even have Lombok jar. I'm so confused. Okay, now let me open up. Okay, we definitely don't have what is this? Okay, this is some test I have done, so let me get rid of that. Um, I don't know if I let me go to the NBIM java project and here i should have what is that mason dependency checklist yeah i have the older version this is not 
changed i think yeah it's not changed so i don't know why this is working now uh let me go to share directory and do we have lombok here yeah, yeah that's why i didn't know they are copying stuff i thought like um they are <coughs> creating a soft link so let's get rid of that um hopefully we'll see an error hopefully java which one is it this one yeah now we see an error because uh it's trying to load the lombok jar however it's not present and um that will result in an error okay that's good good stuff now um i have a bunch of repositories to get this project working if i go into nvim java repositories i have nvim java core and then i have nvim java test java dap and you know stuff like that separated separate uh repositories for um for what they do you know basically um so loading stuff loading the lombok core is defined sorry uh lombok jar is defined in java core so let's go into that here if i search um telescope live grip um lombok i should find it somewhere yeah here and yeah i'm taking the jdtls route using this um mason get chart path i think i have defined it yeah so by default mason has defined an environment variable or mason specific variable called no actually it's a uh, environment variable called mason and using that we can get the path to the root of the maven sorry mason it's basically this directory right here local share and we mason from there we can build the path right now what we want is share lombok and this is the directory so yeah you have to build it from right here okay let's go back um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get a copy of this i'm going to call this lombok root or oh, is it um yeah lombok root and change jdtls to lombok and um where do we have lombok path yeah right here i'm gonna replace this thing with lombok root and we have the lombok path what is this okay i'm good just going to ignore this for now now i believe this should work and let's go to the main file it is still not working <clears throat> um is the path incorrect and what could it be hold on uh, let me just double check my neovim configuration and let's make sure i'm loading core from the local directory I have a bunch of utilities for loading uh, plugins from a local directly directly if they exist otherwise it will you know clone the uh, plugin from the github it's there and <clears throat> i don't know why this is not working so let's make sure the path is correct i'm going to add a print statement um lombok path and 
here relaunch what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually i have set up uh what do you call that harpoon harpoon right harpoon and beam this is a plugin from primogen and this basically uh let you like bookmark files so i can quickly open it like this let me open up the logo sorry uh messages and let's um ls this it does exist and it's a link to this file right here that is also there then why the hell is this not working um let's actually check the error i think i have logs in i don't remember actually yeah java co nope nope i don't want to open that in a browser instead uh, how do i edit this i don't even remember nope yeah oh the key is all <clears throat> first of all let me just get rid of everything and save and relaunch let's check oops <clears throat> So far looks like we don't have any errors what's wrong i don't see any errors not for us but let's check um lsp log as well i'm gonna remove everything and uh, close and reopen and i can do replace new line character with actual new lines i guess okay that did not work but anyway unable to access jar file oh wait did i delete this also jdtls plugins let's check <clears throat> I'm gonna copy the error. Um, paste it here, and let's close this out. Go back to um, this is from Mason, so let's go to Mason. Share JDJLS plugins. What is the file? You know what i'm just going to do ls it does exist but oh yeah i see previously i had another package name so this does not exist the link it create it has created does not exist that's why i deleted that no such file or directory okay that's why it's, it was not working apparently so uh, what can i do <clears throat> i think i think i can come here and remove yeah i think i can hold on can i just remove the link and Can I just only remove the link right here? You know what? I'm just going to get rid of this package. And the next time I will uh, launch Mason, it will automatically install that. I hope.
um so right now it's trying to refresh the registry and uh it su suddenly goes to 100 percent unfortunately we don't get the you know uh, loading screen correctly i don't know if if someone has reported any errors or can you even handle that if you are running in the main thread uh, obviously i don't think you can handle that you have to do the update in a separate thread okay now that's installed uh however what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to mason packages and go to jdt ls here i'm going to what the hell i don't have a long book maybe it, uh yeah i think it did not download uh what that's so confusing so we should have jdls here but i don't see it um but i think i deleted the share uh, jdls from share we are not from here so i'm hoping it will be re-downloaded yeah <clears throat> so yeah you will get a pop-up saying uh close and reopen after uh dependencies dependencies has been downloaded um yeah right now it's being downloaded so i guess the validation validation is just to make sure the package is there if it is there then it will not create the uh directories in share and do the linking i guess so that's why it didn't work previously but right now i deleted uh, jdtls from here once it's downloaded from to a temporary directory once it's completed i assume it will show up here and it will create the link to the share directory because we have defined it uh in in the um what is that uh, uh in the uh package specification okay it's being downloaded while that's going on i guess i can uh, um delete the delete the library from jdt ls itself so let's go to nvim what is that nvim uh sorry mason registry nope nope it's going to re-download it that's annoying <clears throat> we can't do that unfortunately i have to wait for this to be downloaded okay it, it's done i don't have a fast internet connection <coughs> but it's done sorry <clears throat> all right now let's go to share directory we don't have jdls what the hell i'm so confused do we have any errors oh actually we do mason packages jdtls file already exist what file oh we have that in the bin and it's throwing an error that's unfortunate so do we have to like wait for it to be downloaded once again looks like that yep it's going to re-download the damn package once again okay um that sucks 
But yeah, while that's going on, <clears throat> can I do anything? I don't think so. Um. So yeah. Anyway, the uh package we published is working, and when you push a new some new stuff like commits, um, then they will appear here. You can see the my um uh, my personal fork of Mason registry is ahead of the original repository that I want to contribute, and there's a button called contribute. I can create a pull request in the original repository to merge my changes into there <clears throat> and there is of course a sync for a button as well to let's say in the original repository we have a bunch of changes but in mine i i don't have them so there's a sync button but right now um it's up to date come on <clears throat> okay i'm assuming it's being downloaded okay that's done cool now from here i'm gonna remove uh, lombok because i don't need that and in from the shared directory go to jddls i don't need here as well <clears throat> now when i open this thing up it should work yep that is configured <coughs> i'm sorry <coughs> and uh, these things are not working ah. <coughs> am i not using <coughs> am i not using uh Um, you know what i'm just going to delete dot last path and dot project just to be safe so it will rebuild when i open it the next time i don't have a rebuild command unfortunately yeah i think it's the cache on here uh cache it had previously looks good to me uh let's do gradle boot run yep that's working however we have to make sure the error is gone now so let's open up the original issue accessors i don't know actually what access is supposed to do Let's check that. Uh, Lombok. <clears throat> Access for syndrome, whatever. Capitalization. Okay looks like there are some rules to define how the getters and setters are defined and <clears throat> do we have an example fluent to so what does it do original class is accessors example okay now instead of get edge we have just edge looks like yeah and we have prefix f so i am guessing f name oh, okay in the original variable <coughs> we have f name but okay so, um, uh, let's let's go back here um so if i do name here it shouldn't work 
but it does work. What? Okay, I'm not quite sure what accessor suffers to do. <clears throat> uh, this is FNM already, what the hell? I thought. <clears throat> to have to read through this fluent boy if through get us for paper is just paper setter is okay um method overloading yeah by uh but why is this working it shouldn't work now. Let's rerun. Oh yeah, that failed because name does not exist. But why the hell uh, the language server is not working right now? I'm confused. Let me close and reopen. We don't have any diagnose. What? Uh, I'm totally confused. We don't have any diagnostics. What have I done wrong? <clears throat> lsp info we definitely have the language server running um somehow some way maybe it's oh yeah wait i wonder if this is not started yet Import org yeah that's probably why i guess Huh. maybe it's still building but i should see notifications right here <clears throat> i don't know if i removed them service is ready i get the message though But the language server is not started let me just check i'm assuming it's been loaded however let's go through the logs and see we have a bunch of errors actually <clears throat> let me remove all of these and let's reload Uh, I didn't save. Okay, now let's. Do we have new lines? Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, what do we have? A whole lot of errors. I don't understand. Uh, RPC is the error. Do we have like a friendlier message okay
unsupported i saw something unsupported <clears throat> unable to access what um let's do ls here that's there and make sure the link is available too that's there <clears throat> yeah i'm not quite sure why it's this is not working unsupported class file major version 61 i have seen this actually maybe i do have some cash left in uh hold on let's go to home cd.cash and nvim jdtls yeah i'm just going to get rid of all this and uh, yeah we don't have anything here I think uh, it failed to load the <clears throat> it failed to load the language server correctly and from here I'll get rid of the class file or class paths I don't have that either so I'm just going to delete those projects and from here hold on i did not delete um the cache so nvim jgls workspace that's empty i'll get rid of that and oh yeah <coughs> all this is gone right now let's relaunch Okay, now it's rebuilding it looks like yeah okay cool it's the cache sometimes you have to uh, go to dot local uh, sorry dot cache and go to nvim and delete jdtls uh, related cache from here <clears throat> it might be because we are using a common workspace um yeah it could be but there is an issue to fix that okay uh after all we got let me make this private and yeah this is not accessible uh get sorry set we don't have a getter setter so getter and setter and let's go back here do we have so annoying obviously this is not practical to do um let me just get rid of the class path project and let's relaunch <clears throat> we don't have get us it is why is that but if i do get name here and pass in a name and sorry it should be set name and get name and if i run this i think it would work 
save the file and oh little boot run i don't see an output so all right yeah it's been compiled correctly so this has to be some issue with jdtls uh, <clears throat> let's go to logs back again and let's make sure lsp is loading uh, the lombok correctly do i have wait let's go back to in java core and do i have the changes i do have the changes so this is the path um that does exist let's make sure link is also existing yep packages yes <clears throat> then what could it be so annoying java never easy uh yeah my camera is rolling hmm where do i start lombok getters <coughs> These are the annotations and i'm assuming i'm using it correctly i can add it to the class itself right as far as i remember i don't work with java anymore um You know what let's make sure lsp uh language save is loading correctly uh relaunch and uh, do we have anywhere we don't have any errors <clears throat> and let's make sure I wonder if the version should be the same. Hmm. I don't think so. That would be weird. Uh, but just to be safe. Uh, what was the version? What was the version? Um. was 1.18.0 but i think i have to get rid of the class path and project and let it rebuild I'm going to create a class here called test java then uh class
okay now let's get test <clears throat> I'm actually going to pull this something else. Testing Lombok. <clears throat> okay, now let's go back. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm so confused. One last try to go to uh, cash and vim jdt let's remove this uh, and let's make sure my god Hmm. Lombok is not working. But the other day when I tried that it worked. It could have been the cache. So Let's get the nightly. <clears throat> okay, it could have been the uh, cache all this time. So, download edge release now. Uh, I'm going to download it to... Where is it? Uh, it's in dot .local. <sighs> this is frustrating. Uh, NVM, Mason. Then let's go to packages, Lombok. Here, replace this thing right here. And just to be safe, let's get rid of JDTLS cache. <clears throat> and last path from here. and project yeah it's working okay. okay okay uh there has to be some kind of uh version issue with the jdtls and uh the lombok uh 
library i'm assuming um some version conflict so uh i think i'm going to upgrade jdtls as well because we have a bunch of new versions um yeah we are using 1.3.0 sorry 1.30 but there is 3.3 so i'm gonna upgrade that as well so we don't need this anymore uh, let's check what are the changes we have made um hold on yeah looks good to me <coughs> yeah this looks good to me let's go back to mason registry and here um here let's go to packages jdtls actually but I'm, uh, I'm i'm going to create a new package because as i said they have included um uh, the release date of the package in the link so we cannot kind of version control you know i cannot simply change the version here and get the uh new get a new or older version because uh in the url we have the data as well so that's a, that's an annoying conflict so i don't think we can use some kind of a map here otherwise the original uh, i mean mason author would have done it already at least we don't have such feature i'm assuming right now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do version control like nix uh nix packages and they like if i do not just the package itself has the version of the package that's one what i'm going to do so I'm not going to change any existing stuff instead i guess i'll copy this and call this uh what is that 1.330 1 underscore 33 underscore 0 think i'm going to use underscore instead of period <clears throat> i don't know why um actually let's separate the version by uh, dash ah that looks kind of ugly can i use period actually i don't know yep that's possible so i uh, just uh, i'm just going to use this i guess let's actually get the newest version of um let's go to mason registry and let's get the copy of the latest jdtls package jdtls so i'm just going to copy this entire thing and do a bunch of changes <clears throat> okay now i don't know if i should change the name of the package ah uh, that i'm not sure you know what let's do it 1.33.0 and no longer we need the lombok to be included in uh, with jdtls so get rid of it from here as well okay <coughs> this looks good and yeah i guess it's good enough i'm gonna commit commit the changes uh page add um jdtls sorry uh version control jdtls or let's say add jdtls 1.33.0 package okay now let's push and hopefully it will 
start a new um workflow to release the changes we have done and meanwhile that's going i can go back to um and java and there is um some dependency file here i guess i have changed this to one point sorry dash 1.33.0 and the same version otherwise it will try to replace the um actually yeah yeah this is good enough for now but i guess i could remove um hold on when i launch it will try to yeah so the release is done now we should have um a new release yeah but sometimes when i try to pull the latest release it i think the github cache is not updated so uh how how to get the latest version of our github release there's an endpoint you can to 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 get the re, re, uh, latest release so this is the link um <clears throat> cannot copy user and the project is amazon registry yeah this is the latest version so i hope when we relaunch new OVM, it will get the uh, latest registry but let's jump double check that so let's go to Going to Mason registries GitHub, my username. It's actually downloading. That's good. <clears throat> uh, download in the package while it's going let's sorry uh jltls dash something we have it here it got the latest release that's good <clears throat> gotta wait for this to be completed and I think it's time to create a branch from this thing right here. Create a branch. So yeah. Um <clears throat> actually. Uh no, I, I can link it later, right? Yeah, I guess so. Uh <clears throat> so how is it going it's downloaded now let's do the same set of stuff we have done already uh, go to dot cache nvim jdtl let's remove everything what else let's go to demo project and from here i'm going to delete class path as well as project i'm gonna close this out and relaunch <clears throat> and this time everything should work as expected get name okay that's working 
now we have to make sure that accessor thing is working also um okay let's go to this class right here <clears throat> and i should add accessors and what was the thing went equal through and here we should have sorry name yeah we have cool we do we have get name no we longer we no longer have the get name function because we have this thing right here mm. this is no errors but when we add uh to and true we should have error yeah here we go it took some time to rebuild the class i guess um yep cool i'm assuming it's not specific to this thing right here chain true what is change? Yes, it has written this. Okay. So basically, if the chain is true, then we should be able to do something like this. Uh, sorry. Uh, let's say set name and we can set a name. Uh, set age uh, 30 I guess we should be able to get the name All right <clears throat> it looks good to me um, this is working so I guess we can make the changes now First of all we have we already have registered uh release the stuff we want so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a pull request to the original project to merge this stuff create a pull request um what's that um which release a new package for um lombok um this allows us to version control the lombok lombok separate Um, create a pull request as you can see i'm in the original uh organization now it will do all the validation and stuff like that meanwhile i can do the same for um nvm java and nvm java core because we have made changes to those as well however what i'm going to do is i'm going to since i'm the um admin of the organization and the repository i can directly create a branch in the issue with with the issue and push the changes to that so that's what i'm going to do i'll check out locally because sometimes uh git fetch is not working for some stupid reason and um uh, so yeah let's go to nvim java and do this stuff hopefully my changes will switch yep. so yeah what i'm going to do is i'm going to okay we don't have the lombok version defined here so 
I have to do that as well. Mason dependency. Here, let's define uh, Lombok. I believe it's 18. But that's not the latest, latest version, is it? <clears throat> let's take, check what the... Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. We have to get the nightly version from a different directory. So that's... Or is it? Since he upgraded the JDTLS, I'm trying. Let, let's try to download the regular latest version, which is this one right here, and see if it's working with the latest JDTLS. As I uh, as I remember, it's a mismatch mismatch of JDTLS and um Lombok version. <clears throat> so local dot local share uh, nvim mason and share lombok replace <clears throat> cool now let's do the same stuff close out delete this delete this and go to home dot cash and vim jdtls delete relaunch <clears throat> we shouldn't see any errors but we do <clears throat> okay apparently we need the nightly copy link download edge so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back to <clears throat> let's go back to mason registry here uh, I'm gonna add another package called uh, Lombok Nightly. Sorry. Copy this thing, paste Nightly, and go to that. <clears throat> and let's change the URL to this thing right here. So instead of this, paste the URL. Okay. We don't need the version, so I wonder if I can remove version from here and uh, let's call this nightly and um <coughs> we kind of have a version conflict here because a regular version is also going to put the lombok jar to the same place but string doesn't match pattern of yeah we have to include a version unfortunately so i'm going to call this, this nightly <clears throat> all right so let's release this uh fetch add lombok uh nightly version version package pkg
push um Okay, we have a release in progress. Once it's done, we can go back to uh, Nvidia Java and here version should be nightly and. <clears throat> for now we are going to be using uh, Lombok nightly uh, <clears throat> uh, looks good now we should be able to delete this and uh, let's open up um demo and get rid of class path project and relaunch as you can see when i said the version it will force to install that particular version um however cannot find package nightly this is what i was talking about even though the package has been released or the registry has been released it does not um update locally so i don't know what to do but let's um try to get the latest version i'm assuming this is like a uh updating github cache issue uh, issue for releases how to get latest version of release <clears throat> once again let's try two minutes ago i think this is the latest version is it however it's not we cannot retrieve that from mason registry i will go back here and delete the registry existing registry from the cache and hopefully the next time we will launch it will be updated correctly i'm hoping nope there is some kind of a bug man let me just open up the registry and let's look for lombok maybe i misspelled <coughs> um Lombok nightly N I G H T L Y Lombok N I G H T L Y It's correct. And the version is N I G H T L Y. That's also correct. N I G H T L Y. Correct yeah sometimes this happens um what i'm going to do is i'm going to download this manually and replace the uh package or the file let's go to home downloads test here i'll delete the existing extracted file extract it again copy this to the repository and i'm going to all right now 
let's relaunch <coughs> um Cannot find package. So confused. Oh, I see. Even though I re replace it, uh, it's going to look look for the package in. Um, oh, sorry. Uh, it's going to refresh the uh, this thing. I'm assuming. Yeah. <clears throat> because I do a post reload of Mason, and it's basically replacing the existing uh, local file. Um. that's annoying it takes some time to uh it takes some time this to be updated for some reason it has to be a bug actually i created a bug i'm gonna re reopen that um yeah here <clears throat> the This goes to the latest release however uh cache might not be updated in you know servers around the world they probably have the old zip file but you know what i'm gonna reopen this Okay, <clears throat> I'm gonna leave this comment. Uh, he will decide if 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 he is using um this URL to get the latest Mason Mason registry, then uh, it should be fine. But uh, if not, he will change, I guess.
please. Hopefully, no, not yet. Can I do? I can disable force refresh. That's that should work. <clears throat> I don't even remember where I do that. Mason F probably in the same repository, you no? Know? Um yeah, refresh and install. Think I'm going to comment this out. Or maybe this entire thing. is outdated why am i returning that and i i i unfortunately Lazy and you don't have a key binding for binding references. That sucks. So let's look for this. Um, let's do telescope live grip and something dot uh, install. I, I, <clears throat> oh. refresh registry I'm just going to comment that out and here I'll delete this copy this over back to the registry and please okay it got installed that's good let's go to mason um share lombok and let's make sure it's pointed to nightly nice and let's um go to home cash what nvim remove jltls cache here go to workspace and delete task path as well as we don't have a project so um nvim Yeah, uh, so annoying. Do we have, yeah, we have issues.
and let's go back to mason uh registries github this thing remove this go home downloads test copy over the json file and hopefully we have a uh, long book nightly <coughs> yes and it is downloading the edge okay now i'm relaunch mason install lombok actually let's go back here and remove the packages from share lombok and go to packages lombok remove these two as well okay now mason install Lombok nightly. Okay, that's good. Mm, let's go back. We have an error. Um, apparently the char is not found okay let's check that it's there and it's pointed to nightly char what now jump manifest is missing hold on Okay, this has to be some issue downloading the Lombok jar. I think it, it's kind of forcefully um, renaming the file to jar. So if I go and open up Lombok jar, yeah, it's an HTML, of course. Okay it's uh something wrong with the url ah i'm stupid man i copied the link from here but that's the web page oh god but rather i have to copy this link yep copy link there we go go to mason and let's change the url the hell happened copy and paste there we go um <clears throat> let's do the same for other occurrences as here um fix invalid long book nightly you are it and push let's wait for the release to be completed here mm. 
Come on. There we go. And once again. Once the release is completed, I'm going to do the same thing, you know, copy over the uh, file manually to uh, registries, GitHub, my profile, my registry, remove this. Actually, at the same time, I have to do how to remove Lombok from share and go to packages, remove Lombok nightly here as well. So we can reinstall it. Okay. That's released. Let's go here, get the latest zip file. Download it here and extract. Go to. Wait, what? Did I just download it directly to? No. Whatever. Now inside GitHub, my file, my registry, I have this JSON and we should have lombok nightly yeah we do have here now um now i'm gonna go to cache delete we don't have actually dot project and relaunch the open hopefully still wait hold on um let's make sure we have the jar file it has to be a binary actually we don't have a lombok at all ah actually i forgot to install the mason install install lombok uh nightly it will be done in a second close and reopen and i believe this time we have fixed the issue finally yeah oh it was painful and we released the we released the uh, um, um i'm gonna create a pull request once again unfortunately <clears throat> oh actually i can add it to the same thing right We have an issue for what's wrong? Nightly URL, something got failed at Lumber Nightly package. Can I rerun? 
all this anyway see it here I'm only going to include these things um, yeah I'm in the correct branch so let's commit fix um, Lombok ish Lombok um, API APS with um, parameters is are not working. Working. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> I'm gonna push this, and we have a bunch of changes in the core as well. So, nvim Java core. And let's get let's do these changes as well, but I'm not going to do do that to the main branch instead. I'm going to go to nvim or nvim Java and or yeah, I'm gonna create a new uh issue feature request get lombok from lombok package and create a branch from here um load the lombok jar from lombok package instead of uh, jdtls package pkg okay um and keep it here and uh we had some issues in the pr i have no clue why Jai is already linked okay i guess when we have a linked jar with a different package this fails i'm guessing that's the issue huh. you know what for now i'll get it from never ends go to packages and here let's lumbo call this nightly fix our uh, create own actually i don't have to i can call this test and oh never mind i cannot call this test <clears throat> i'm gonna rename that so uh fix create a uh, separate sh yeah actually let's uh, mention the issue issue is uh 
share hold our dir conflict with lombok nightly and with packages <clears throat> let's push and see um still recording how long two freaking hours man So I, it's it's going good, but um, with these changes, we have to change the core module. Yeah, it looks like uh, it's fine. So here, um, I'm going to change the path to at Lombok Lombok nightly instead yeah it looks like everything is passing um once this once this release is done i guess we can do this one more time um we have to get rid of lombok nightly from the packages go to share remove lombok and from registries we have to remove this and we have to get the latest uh, release download the latest registry and extract it copy the file over to this thing and I guess relaunch mason install lombok nightly and it should work like it did earlier but just to be safe let's um remove the cache mm, yeah go to the project go to remove class path and project uh, and then let's make sure everything is working actually it's not oh yeah it's working get hg's number and set name is a string and we should have the semicolon oh good Okay, now this is pushed, but we have to create a pull request or the update the pull request. So let's go back here, contribute. We already have a pull request, so we just have to update the existing 
ah it's all automatically updated nice okay now we don't have any reviewers so i'm just going to merge squash actually um <clears throat> i'm going to do release separate package for lombok and the lombok nightly Okay, now this is merged i am hoping there is yeah ongoing release workflow running now we have to update um four so fix um get long book from or long uh load Lombok from nightly. What load Lombok from nightly, and we should push. Then, uh, then I'm going to open up core as well. Sorry, uh, and we Java as well. And here, no changes. That's yeah, that's correct. Now let's go to Java Core. Let's create a pull request to get This is the message and uh, let's revalidate the changes um path is lombok nightly and ja is correct that's good let's create pull request um it will you know run the workflows to uh, do the linting and style check meanwhile that's going i guess we could with another tab and go to in beam java we should have a bunch of changes we should create a pull request from that as well <clears throat> this is a fix uh lombok uh, wait what was the message previously lombok not working oh that's good create the pull request all checks has been passed but uh i should validate one thing that's to i should um uncomment this and delete stuff from i should delete stuff from um the registry Mason registries GitHub. This thing right here is gone, and in the new Vim configuration, I should um, let me close this actually and open up nvim config uh, nvim then uh, Lua plugins Java. And here I should refactor the uh, repository to this thing right here. Close out. Once the release is done in NVIM Java and registry, it's done when we relaunch it should get the correct version from releases i mean registry from releases and 
I'm hoping we should have um, correct package as well. Actually, it did not download because I already have it here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete nightly from here and share and let's relaunch. That's good. That's not good. Okay, let's delete the cache for the project. Let's try again. Ah, oh, finally, it's done. Set edge is working. Um, yeah, we can chain. Okay, now we should be able to release these two as well. Mm, four, gosh, and merge. Uh, I don't need these messages. Squash and merge. Delete the branch. I don't need that anymore. And from here, everything is passing and squash and merge. <clears throat> All right. Now the issue should be fixed. Delete the branch. Go to NVIM Java. When you close out the pull request, it should automatically close out the issue as well. If I have that open, let me see. Yeah, it's already closed. Ah, it took me two hours, I think. More than two hours. But finally, it's done for good. Yeah, I mean, nowadays I don't work on uh, Java related stuff. I don't actually use Java anymore and i'm too busy to work on this project as well that's why i have like a lot of opening is open issues unfortunate but i'm hoping uh people will uh people will start to contribute to contribute to these projects if if if, if they are using java of course huh that's it um i'm going to I'm going to release this video as it is. Uh, I think I'm not going to edit, so it's going to be two hours. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.